Hey everyone, this is Slimin. Today I'm partnering up with Celestron to bring you a video of the Celestron StarSense with a focus on installing, setting it up, aligning it, and calibrating the StarSense unit. Uh, this is a, a really neat product and so I hope if you watch today's video all the way through it will answer all of your questions that you have about using this device and setting it up. So there are two versions of this video one aligning with the hand controller and one aligning with the sky portal module and this video is going to focus on using the sky portal module and aligning with your device and that just plugs right into your aux. So Schmidt Cascarine telescopes typically have two spots to mount accessories uh, one where your finder scope is and the other off to the right. This middle spot is for a, another rail, so if you want to mount a rail on top. So I'm going to um, put my star sense bracket right here. And I don't really see a need to have a finder scope if you're going to be using star sense, so I'm actually going to remove my finder scope too. And it's just a good general rule of thumb that when you install a new accessory that your telescope is in the vertical position just so in case something slips or falls you have a better chance of catching it before it falls. So I'm going to uh, go ahead and remove these now. And I mean you could even put your telescope on the floor and do this too. Okay, so I'm just going to install the large Schmidt Cassegrain bracket here. Line up those holes. There we go. And tighten that down. Just make sure that's straight. It's a little off. Alright, so I'm just going to tighten this down. Yeah, that looks pretty straight. Nice and easy, that simple, we're ready to uh, put on the star sense. All right, so now we just simply slip the star sense over the bracket and tighten down the thumb screws. Once you have the star sense on the telescope that you want it on, simply just plug in your auxiliary cable to the star sense and to the auxiliary port on your mount. It's also important to realize that if you're intending on using the Sky Portal Wi Fi module and the star sense, and your mount only has one auxiliary port, you will need an auxiliary port splitter. Now this is an advanced VX, so it has two, so I'm okay, but again, if you only have one, you will need to get a splitter to use both. Once your sky portal is installed and your star sense is in your auxiliary port, all you need to do is just swap out your hand controllers now, so take the old one, and swap it out for the star sense controller. What's also really neat about the StarSense is it comes with a standard uh, Vixen style finder scope bracket. So if you want to use the StarSense on like a Newtonian or a refractor or any telescope that uses a standard bracket, you definitely can. I'll just remove my finder scope and it will pop right in and secure. So I'll show you how to, uh, how to, to swap them out too. So swapping the star sense from the large bracket to the small bracket is really easy. Uh, just take a four millimeter uh, hex wrench and loosen the bolt in the small bracket a little bit so it's loose. Okay. And then do the same thing on the bracket that the star sense is installed on. So this one's a little bit tighter. There we go.
And then you'll know when it's loose enough when the star scent starts swinging in the bracket. Okay, so then the next thing you're gonna do is just hold the star sense in place and undo the, the shroud to the sensor. Unscrew this. There we go, here it comes. And these will separate and just make sure these orange rings stay in place. Remove the star sense from that bracket. Insert the bracket. Looks like I need to loosen that a little bit more, so I'm going to do that. All right, we'll place the star sense in there. Get that nice and loose. And now that we have the bracket on, screw the shroud right back on. And it's a lot of threading, so. Make sure that stays straight. Then once everything's nice and tight, I like to just loosen this a little bit more, get the star scent straight, and then tighten it back down. Get nice and tight and you swapped out the bracket to the small one. So although swapping brackets for the star sense is really easy and takes under two minutes, just realize that if you are swapping things around between telescopes, each time you do that, you're going to need to recalibrate the star sense unit. Uh, if you leave it on the same telescope and you calibrate it, each time you do a session, you're not gonna need to redo that step. But when you're swapping between them, you will need to recalibrate each time you do that. When using the star sense on an equatorial mount, there's three things you really need to do. Number one is you need to level your mount, so make sure you do that before you start. Otherwise, you're gonna get some pretty erroneous results. Number two is you need to make sure that your mount is at the index marks, and currently mine is not, so I'm going to fix that right now. And lastly, you need a rough polar alignment. So for that, I use the polar scope for the Celestron Advanced VX, and it just needs to be rough, nothing amazing. If you don't have a polar scope, just look down the bore, and if you get Polaris, you know, nice in the middle or even close, that should be good enough. So just to reiterate, level your mount, make sure your mount is set to the index marks, and get a rough polar alignment of the mount. Using StarSense with a altitude azimuth fork mount is not much different than an equatorial mount. Uh, you still need to swap out the hand controller, so make sure you do that. Um, and you really need to make sure that the index marks line up and that the OTA is pointed horizontally. So basically, the OTA is at the zero degree position. The Nexstar SE mount does not have clutches, so I'm powering up the telescope to do this. So now that those are, are lined up, everything's horizontal, mount is level, uh, uh, ready to use star sense essentially. Really, really easy. The last thing you need to know before you start aligning is if you intend on using the hand controller to align, make sure you use the hand controller for your whole session. Or if you intend on using the Sky Portal to align, make sure you use the Sky Portal app for your whole session. You can't align with the hand controller and then switch to the sky portal and keep that same alignment and vice versa. So just make sure you know which method you wanna use before you start your alignment. So to calibrate the star sense, I'm gonna be using a camera today in the telescope rather than a diagonal or an eyepiece and that's so I can show you what's going on while I calibrate it. 
Normally, you know, if you're just doing visual use or outreach, uh, diagonal with a low power eyepiece is totally fine. Um, but like I said, I'm just going to use a camera today so you can see what's going on. All right, now that we are uh, roughly polar lined and level, mount is on, stars are out, we are ready to go. So the first thing that uh, we need to do is connect to the sky portal um, using the Wi-Fi. And so I am on an iPhone, so I am just going to uh, select Celestron 90E and then connect to that. And then once I'm done, I'm going to uh, go to the uh, sky portal app and tap on that. And then you will see the connect and align button. So I'll tap on that. And what's really neat is it automatically recognizes star scent. So it'll say manually um, move the scope so it's pointing north. We've already done that. So we'll just tap OK. And it manually senses star sense and begins the alignment process. And the nice thing about using the Sky Portal app, you don't have to input any information. It literally does everything for you, which is really convenient. So the star sense is processing the image it took, getting the plate, found 100 stars. And there we go, one of four already. Capturing image, and that's just doing it again. And so this actually works fairly quickly. Already two are done. So I will uh, just let this work through those four and then I will come back when it's finished. Okay, so you can see four or four aligned. It even gives you your polar alignment deviation, uh, which is pretty cool. And so you can either choose to all-star polar align or just tap done. For the purposes of this video, I'm just going to tap done. But if you do choose to all-star polar align, it's incredibly easy with Sky Portal. So I'm going to just tap done. And if it's your first time, you're going to get a pop-up that tells you you need to calibrate the telescope. But to do that, we need to find a star. And so uh, you typically want to pick one that is pretty bright. So Vega is the, the obvious choice that pops out to me here. So I'm going to tap on Vega and we'll hit go to. And let's just see how good our initial uh, alignment is here. You can see I'm using Backyard EOS on my PC uh, with the camera to show you this. Um, so let's just see how close that initial alignment from StarSense got us to Vega. So let's just wait for it to slew over there. Uh, here it comes. We can see that reticle getting closer. And it's cool is in the meantime, I can tap info and uh, see Vega. And Vega has a magnitude of 0.0, .0 of course. Um, and there it is on the screen. So actually, that's not too bad. Uh, if you were using a, just a low power eyepiece, medium power eyepiece, that would be in the field of view. So that actually does a pretty good job. Okay, so with Vega right here in the field, um, I'm just gonna uh, center center this. So I'm gonna use the directional keys here and move around. You can see that on the screen. Okay, there we go, I'm getting closer. That's pretty good. Come down just a little bit. Perfect. Okay, so now in Sky Portal, I tap Align and Calibrate. And remember, you want to be on the star before you calibrate. So we'll hit Calibrate, and it will think through that right now. Calibration complete. New calibration center, zero, zero. A uh, new star sense alignment is required. Tap OK to start a new star sense alignment or tap cancel to ignore the calibration. So all you're going to do is tap OK and star sense is basically going to realign itself. You don't have to move the mount or anything. Literally, all you do is tap OK. And 
It says restarting all the star sense alignment. You hit OK. And here we go. You can see it moving off and uh, starting the process here. So just go through that process again, and then when it's done, I will be back. All right, 404 aligned again, as you can see. So I just tap done. And now, uh, looks like we're just up in some random region up here, up by the zenith, if you can see that reticle. Just up there, actually kind of over by Cygnus. So I'm going to go back to Vega real quick. So just tap on that and hit go to. And we'll see where that puts us. All right, here we come. Pretty much right on the money. So star sense is pretty awesome. One thing I really love about StarSense, though, with the Sky Portal app especially, is it really helps you learn the night sky. So, you know, I know a decent amount of these stars, but a lot of these objects, you know, you can, if you haven't seen them before, you can, you can go see them. Um, but just to test the accuracy a little bit, let's go check out the double star Albirio and hit uh, go to. See how that looks. There it is. You can see here the gold and the blue star. I need to work on my collimation a little bit. That's a <laughs> separate issue. Um, let's see. What else should we look at real quick? Um, is there any other neat double stars? Uh, oh, we could look at Mizar. Let's try that. That would be right there near the horizon a little bit. So let's hit go to. See how we look with Mizar. Here it comes. Ah, it's technology is so cool. <laughs> and there's Mizar. So that is really how you uh, align and calibrate the star sense using the Sky Portal app. It's incredibly simple, and I actually find it easier than the hand controller. It's a super stable system, too. I, I think Celestron's done a great job with this. Um, tap info. You can you know learn about the object you're looking at. You see a nice picture of it. Uh, you can go to search and find, you know, tonight's best objects, suns and planets, moons, tons of various different menus. You can even, you know, hit best double stars tonight. So um, the app is a really, really neat tool that you have for sharing the night sky with others and learning more about it yourself. And it's really easy to use. So I commend Celestron on it. It's, uh, it's really fun. All right. Well, that is how you set up, install, align, and calibrate a Celestron Star Sense. A super neat product and what I really like the most about it isn't just how fast it auto aligns but it's how accurate it is if you take care to make sure everything is set up with your mount right to start the star sense is spot on so awesome product from Celestron thanks so much for watching and clear skies